Hi everyone, it's Mel here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me again. And today's topic is going to be about lambskin versus caviar. Now, this is one question that I get asked a lot. And also, it's probably a question that gets debated a lot amongst bag lovers and Chanel lovers out there too, because there are, def there are definitely people that are team caviar and people that are team lambskin. However, I've got four points for you today, which I think you need to ask yourself before you decide which bag you go for. I don't think it's so straightforward saying, oh yeah, okay, you should buy caviar in this, or you should buy lambskin in that, and I'll explain further. Now, when I was researching this topic, I didn't see any comparisons between the same bag, so I thought it would be useful to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the same bag. Now, this beauty here, as many of you would recognize, is my beloved Chanel Jumbo and mine is in the lambskin leather with gold hardware and my mum has kindly let me borrow her one same bag Chanel with the gold Chanel Jumbo with the gold hardware in caviar leather now I'm going to do close-ups of these bags later on but I am going to go through four points which I just want you to to consider before making your purchase. So point number one, what sort of look and feel do you personally like? Now for lambskin, lambskin is very luxurious. It looks very, very luxe. And it's got a soft, buttery sort of touch. Uh, it just exudes richness and opulence and it's it's probably a bit more dressier too now with caviar caviar is actually made from calf so they're in two different types of leathers so calf versus lamb now with caviar in terms of look it is definitely it has a grained texture it is a treated leather and it feels to the touch it is it does feel harder because it is pre-treated, it is more durable to surface scratches and the overall look is generally a bit more casual in my opinion. So as you can see, this is a close-up of the caviar and the lamb. What do we notice straight away? In terms of the lamb, it is definitely shinier than the caviar. The caviar is more dull. You can see the textures of the um, grain in the caviar because this is from made from calf and this is made from lamb. Now, to me, uh, this is definitely more dressier, the lambskin, than the caviar, which to me is more casual. Also, in terms of feel, the lambskin feels very smooth and very buttery to touch and the caviar is rougher and it definitely it feels a bit more sturdier as well. One point I did quickly want to mention is that every single year it, uh, it there is differences in terms of the batches and I have noticed of late in the last year that the lambskin felt um, it didn't feel as soft uh, than this lambskin um, five years ago. So just bear in mind that you need to go into store and have a feel yourself because the batches vary from year to year. But generally speaking, these are the differences between them. So if you're the type of person and you really need to ask yourself this, are you going to be really upset if you see a scratch in your bag? Because with lambskin, you are going to get scratches. It doesn't matter how much you baby your bag, it is going to get scratches. But the thing with lambskin is that with surface scratches, you can get them out. And so many people are so scared of buying lamb because they think, oh my gosh, I'm going to wreck it. Uh, I'm going to get all these scratches because you are paying a huge amount of money for it. But let's get up and close and personal with these two bags now. And I'm actually going to do a scratch test. Yes, I'm going to scratch my bag. And I'm going to show, I'm going to scratch my lambskin bag and I'm going to show you that it does come out very easily. Okay, now let's do the scratch test. As you guys can see, I have got nails. So let's go to caviar first. 
As I've mentioned, because caviar is pre-treated, it is more resilient against surface scratches. So just have a listen. You can't see anything. I'm scratching and nothing. There is nothing there. Let's go over to lambskin. Now with lambskin, it is definite you will see surface scratches. If you look at this, can you see that? There is definitely a mark there, but it is easy to get off. If I just rub it with my hand like this, using the natural oils, you will see that it will disappear. Another thing is, if you don't want to use um, your finger, every, when you buy the bag, you will always get this cloth. And what I often do is, you keep the cloth for the same bag. That's another tip I have, is just go over the bag as well. And if you use the glove and you just sort of go over a surface scratch, this will also help get rid of surface scratches. And I like to do this um, to my bags approximately once a month. I like just to go over it. It just gives it... Um, it just restores a bit more shine to the bag and just, yeah, it just helps sort of treat it a little bit. So I just wanted to mention that glove. But use whatever glove you use, keep it with that particular bag because you don't want to mix um, gloves. One more point to consider is that see with these quilts, um, they're quite puffy. Both these bags are five years old and there has been no decrease in puffiness. Over time though, if you do not look after it, and we're talking about say, 15 years, 20 years down the track, you do see in vintage Chanel bags that in terms of the quilting, it does deflate a bit. However, so far for five years, I have not found that the case on either of these bags, but I think that also boils down to how you look after it as well. So for point number two, I think you need to consider the type of the product that you're after and also the color so are you looking for a wallet are you looking for a small leather good because for those type of products people tend to favor caviar as I mentioned before caviar is pre-treated so because of that it is more resilient against surface scratches and for small leather goods and wallets you tend to use them on a daily basis so personally in my collection for my small leather goods or my um, wallets, I tend to favor caviar or another type of leather. Now, if you are after like a bigger tote or say a maxi flat bag, that is another thing I would recommend um, going for caviar as well, purely due, due to surface area. The bag is a bigger bag. It, you're probably going to bump into things more. Therefore, you're prone more to scratches and perhaps dents. So that's my recommendation. But look, in saying that, diehard lamb skin lovers, they will still purchase every single bag in lamb. But I'm just giving you a general uh, opinion and obviously my own personal opinion. I mean, some people say I would never purchase a jumbo uh, in lamb as well, but I've got a lamb skin jumbo. So it does come down to personal opinion too. But look, look at the size. A lot of people that are caviar lovers, they're like, okay, if the bag's a little bit smaller, let's say a mini, a mini square or a mini rectangle, they're more likely to say, okay, I'm going to try that in lamb. I'm not going to bump into things as much. It's got a smaller surface area. Let's try that in lamb. Now, in general, black lamb skin is easier to take care of in terms of um, all the colors of lamb skin because it doesn't show as much of um, the surface scratches or some of the wear and tear over the years. So if you're after a lighter color bag, say white or beige or even a light pink, um, in my personal opinion, I would probably go for caviar. But as I said before, it all boils down to personal opinion. And also some people think that, for example, in red, the lambskin takes on color better than the caviar. So that's just another consideration. What type of bag are you looking for? Um, what is the size of the bag and what color are you looking for? Those are all three things that you need to consider as well. So point number three, does it fit your lifestyle? This is really important. And also what is its intended use? Is it going to be a bag that you use daily or very frequently or is it going to be a bag that's going to be occasional use and you might use it once every couple of weeks or so 
So for example, just say you're a mum and you've got young kids and you live a pretty active lifestyle, I probably would recommend caviar because you don't need to worry about it as much. But if you're after, you want something luxe and you, you know that you're not going to use the bag that often, then lambskin may be the better option because you just cannot beat the luxuriousness and the texture and how beautiful it looks in lambskin. And to me, in my personal opinion, lambskin looks a lot better um, than caviar. So that's another point that you really need to consider as well. And for the final point is, have a look at your total handbag collection. Do you have a lot of bags that are in calfskin or bags that have a grain texture? Then it might be good to try out the Chanel lambskin because it, as you've shown before, it's not as delicate as you would think and you can rub out surface scratches. And you might want to try it in a smaller bag. Or you might have quite a lot of lambskin bags and you think, you know what, maybe I should try out caviar. And this video is not only just for um, Chanel lovers out there because sometimes you're starting out and you haven't bought a Chanel bag yet and you're thinking caviar or lamb. And if you are intending to buy only one Chanel bag, though I have to say once you buy one, it's very hard to um, stop because you always want to add slowly to your collection then I would I would have to pick lambskin only because it's to me it's quintessential Chanel it's got the luxurious feeling and it is just so beautiful but if you tend on maybe buying two Chanel bags and you are still a little bit afraid of lambskin maybe start off with caviar and then when your confidence builds you might want to get lambskin later down the track so yeah, um, whenever I'm buying a new bag, I always just like to look at my collection, whether that's big, whether that's small, and just ask yourself, will it add to my collection? Um, do I have this sort of piece? And it is an investment, so I thought that this video would be helpful because you want to make the right choice. And sometimes, you know what, like, it sometimes it boils down to a head versus heart decision, and you're not sure, like, your head sort of says, okay, I should be more practical, I should go for caviar. But your heart might say, oh my gosh, I just love the lamb. And I would say, or for me, I always tend to go for my heart because it has to, you know, I've got to love it and I have to get excited about it. Also, I think it's important to point out, as much as people think caviar is not indestructible and if you do get a deep scratch in caviar, or if you don't treat your bags that well, once caviar is worn along the sides, it is very hard to fix it. And um, I've actually got an example for you. Many years ago, I bought a caviar tote bag. And when I did buy it, it was a little bit beaten up. And I probably didn't take care of it that well as well. But I'll just show you now. So this is my caviar bag. And if you can see from the corners, it is all rubbed and all the grains is flattened out and it definitely has rubbing to the corners. I will also show a close up. And there are some scratches on this bag that you are not gonna get out. They're deep scratches on the bag. Look, this bag was purchased pre-loved. I didn't really care as much because I only bought it for a few hundred dollars, but caviar is not indestructible. And another point, People say that with lambskin, it fades over time, but caviar can also do that too. Just look at the wear of the handles compared to the bag. The handles have actually faded, and I'll also show a close-up of that too. So I think it's important to note that you need to look after your bags, whether it's caviar or it's lambskin. Treat your bags with respect, you know, and caviar is sturdier definitely than lambskin but if you look after both of them really well they will last years to come but yeah consider all those four points consider 
you know, one, uh, what sort of uh, feel do you like in your bags? Two, what are you looking for in terms of the bag? And what color are you looking for? Three, what kind of lifestyle? It has to fit in with your lifestyle because that's so important. And four, what other bags do you have? You wanted to add to your collection too. Maybe it's good to try out something new. Um, if you're team caviar, you might want to go for lambskin. If you're team lambskin, you might want to try caviar. So guys, I really hope that comparison has helped you in deciding what your next purchase should be, whether it's your first Chanel bag or your fifth Chanel bag. I think that there are definitely pros and cons for both leathers. Uh, Chanel is a brand that I love and I own both types, but because I have more caviar, even while researching this, I'm like, you know what, Mel, in your next bag, I'm... I'm going to go for lamb. So it was good even doing this uh, research as well because I'm after a mini next and I'm after a mini lamb. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Write in the comments below, are you team caviar or are you team lamb? See you later guys. Bye.